Well, we're getting new video of the devastating flooding today in Tennessee caused by the remnants of Hurricane Helene. The flooding shut down a highway and left neighborhoods covered underwater. Officials there are urging residents to stay off the roads tonight. Let's get a check with Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. He's in a, the CBS News, excuse me, the CBS Philadelphia Next Weather Sphere to see the impacts we'll feel from the storm here. Yeah, and, and see, Alpha, we're going to have impacts. They're not going to be anything like the video that you just showed there or certainly what it was last night, but those impacts are going to be with us through probably Tuesday at least. I mean, it's the storm's big and it's going to take some time. This is what it looks live outside tonight. We have clouds. We don't have any sunlight out there right now, and the sun's going down not too long from now. Certainly you have some daylight hours left, but you're not really noticing that out there. So we're going to stay on a weather alert because we are tracking the moisture from this storm. But what you can expect, it's not a major weather alert. It's not like we have a severe weather risk tonight, but we're going to have the moisture around showers into tonight, showers through the overnight rain measured up to about a quarter an inch. We're a quarter of an inch. We're not expecting anything of significance, but we just want you to know it's our job to help you plan the next weather event. You're hearing a lot about this massive storm, and so we want it on your radar. We're going to have this through early Saturday morning in terms of what we're looking at right now here. But like I said, impacts from this storm will go well beyond that. Another impact that I'm, I'm going to add to that map is the potential for some dense fog again tomorrow morning. I mean, look at this picture right now. This is our camera in Margate, and it's the camera I often show you that's looking to the west where we see the sunset out here. Well, <laughs> forget about it. I mean, these clouds are hundreds of feet off the ground, not thousands of feet. So today we're going to have fog in the showers earlier. We had some heavy rain tonight. We're going to see that again tomorrow. Mostly cloudy with some shower chances as we roll on through the weekend. Both days, the steadiest rain is going to be tonight and into tomorrow morning. So let's talk about that. Here's our clouds and radar right now. Most of you do not have rain out your window, but there is a line of some showers rolling through the Lehigh Valley right now. Bucks County, we're seeing some of these storms, some of these showers, I should say, move in from the south. So if you're going out this evening, know that there may be times that you need to use your windshield wiper, that you may want your umbrella with you, especially if you happen to be out late. I mean, most of you are not going to be out at one o'clock in the morning, but that's when we have the heaviest of the rain that's rolling through. The storms that are down there near the Virginia Beach area right now, that's what I expect to be rolling through our overnight hours. That's where the heaviest rain is. Could you hear the sound of thunder, flash of lightning? That may wake you up tonight. Tomorrow morning, out the door. It's a breezy day. It's a sticky day again with cloudy conditions. For the most part, there could be a few breaks for you areas, for you folks that are living in our southern zones. And if we do, you're going to see a big temperature difference. You get a little sunshine, your number's going to go up big time. Where we're going to keep the clouds from basically Philadelphia north, numbers aren't going to move too much. It's going to be a relatively cool day. And what you see is what you get off and on showers throughout the day. I want to show you some of the high temperatures for your day tomorrow. I'm going to bring the map back up here, and this is what you can expect for your day tomorrow. Here's what we go. We got temperatures that are going to be into the 70s around the region. It's most of the re area is going to see temperatures into the 70s, but we're going to have some of you. 74 Philly, 78 around Wilmington. How about 81 around Millville? Again, expecting the potential for some of that sun. Compare that to the Lehigh Valley back here around Allentown with the temperature at 68 degrees. It'll be a little bit cooler for the Poconos and Lancaster right now at 71. So that is our day tomorrow when we put it all together and talk about your seven day details. Here's what we have. And the question I'm sure a lot of you want to know is when does the sun come back? Well, it's not tomorrow, Sunday, Monday or Tuesday because we have that storm system that still needs to make its way through. The heart of Helene will be through our area probably by Tuesday. So that's why we're tracking the rain showers each day. After that, we roll into our Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. Then skies start to open up. We do get some sunshine and at this point it's looking pretty nice basically a week from today. But between now and then, man, we're going to see a lot of cloud cover out there. So just have that umbrella nearby. That's where the forecast back over to you.